Yesterday, the reason I wasn't here is because I went to uh, Bozeman to meet up with a gentleman who is bringing this bronze, this uh, Plains Warrior bronze, up from the gallery in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Yeah, to meet me up here so I could pick it up and take it to the show this time next week. This thing's about 30 inches tall with the base and everything, so it's a nice bronze. Has a great face on it. All right. Time to play with some clay. I got uh, the uh, banner flag or the uh, uh, the uh, battle flag uh, printed out the scale. I made the scale, the the ruler scale, to be in the same scale as the head measurement of the uh, warrior. Uh, the uh, ordinary, everyday head measurement of a uh, full male is usually eight to eight and a half inches. I went eight and a half inches. And once I scaled that ruler to his head measurement, eight and a half inches, uh, the ruler was scaled, and then I just copied and pasted four, four of the, four of the uh, rulers, each one 10 inches, and that gives me 50 inches altogether. The flag is 47 or 41 inches long from there to there and that's uh where that ended up was at 41 there but my problem is i have to have this star you probably can't see it let me see if i can get it to where you can see it has to be matched to the size of the stars on the uh, back background here and it's just a hair small smaller than those stars so i'm taking artistic license and i made the flag maybe a quarter of an inch or a half inch uh, smaller and now i've got the uh, stars on this flag matching exactly the size of this star so i can just now press the uh, star into clay and get the uh, register of the the star on the uh, clay now I got to figure out how I'm going to do this pattern on the clay itself and get it this way on both sides of the flag. I'm going to do the flag out of monster clay because it's stiffer um, and I think it'll hold this shape a lot better. And then I got to figure out how I'm going to do these lines. This is a daunting prospect here but I figured I'd take some artistic license because nobody's going to be measuring the flag on the sculpture as long as it's real close to the actual size I figure it's, it's good it, I just sometimes you just have to take artistic license because e either tools you have or or some other reason and that's the reason I've uh, made this a little smaller than it actually will be you can see the size difference there all right time to get back on the uh, head of the horse today and uh, uh get that gun and then i'll worry about the flag after i work on the warrior on horseback and get the head back on and get everything going there and this would be the last thing i do is this flag time to get started by the way the uh, ruler that i've got there will also help me scale the uh 1866 Winchester rifle that I he wants me to put on this piece too so he'll it does a lot of double duty there all right I made some eyeballs out of my latex or whatever material it is I made my tools out of because it's hard and uh, it'll hold its shape but the problem is it's latex and it doesn't stick to clay so I'm having to make it uh, so I can press it into the uh, 
eye socket. Now, the, uh, the uh, pupil of this eye is looking back, and I'm assuming that the pupil of this eye will look this way, the opposite way. It's, it just makes sense to me that it would... Uh, do just like on a human eye. Now I made the eyeball about six hours ago, so it's had time enough to harden up enough to where I can manhandle it a little bit. Okay, I think that works. Okay, the eye's getting there. I'll print out some pictures of uh, horses' heads with the eyes so I can get the uh, eyelids right. But it's passable right now. Okay, I'm going to try to paint this to match the clay. Well, it does work. I wasn't sure if the paint would actually adhere to the uh, latex, but it seems to be. If you've never seen my videos before, what I did was I what I did was I took a sample of clay to a local paint shop and had them match the paint to the clay because when you're showing the clay you don't need a little questions like, why is that different color? Well, now I don't have to explain that. Because it's the same color. It makes no difference when they cast it because it all comes out looking like the same bronze. I'm taking my time on this. I mean, a lot of time. Because I want this to be the best horse's head I've ever done. And I've done some pretty good horse's head in the past, but this, this one is actually working out to be the best one I've ever done. And that makes me very, very happy. Okay, I gotta get this side. Okay, it may be time to put this back on the horse. Okay, one of the things I gotta do is sculpt the inside of his mouth. Well, 
I got it off. And I can take a look at it from a, a different angle. Let me see. Get the right tools. So now it's time to place this back on the armature. I gotta look for it. I gotta tilt his head back a little bit more. Gotta find the uh, pliers. screw up everything I've spent so much time sculpting. There we go. Now it's just a matter of blending everything in. He's never been cut off. That horse's head looks dynamite on there. length of his neck and the proportion between the point of the hip uh, the uh, shoulder to the point of the hip is right on the button everything's working out on this piece all right good night everybody see you next time please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.